wanted to get him for a minute in the uh, in the cool in the in the not so pressuring environment, so that he's so that people can see him lounging around and being cool. I mean, he's good with dogs and. Yes. Okay. Cool. It's just a mellow. I wonder if they've been working with him at all because, you know, the the week, like I said a week ago, that he was really, he was quite, but he'd never seen me before, so he was kind of, you know, uh, uh, Talkative, but but. Did you, you know. see him here at the thrift store? No, oh, no, okay. I saw him over at the Humane Society. Okay. Yeah, he has yeah. calmed down quite a bit. Um, he's tough, you know. He's ten years old, and his owner passed away. Do you know if they worked with him at all? Yes, we did. Cool. cool. Yes, we have a couple of behavioral specialists, and then we have the Department of Corrections. They come out and they help us a lot. Wow. Yes, yeah, a couple of them are learn, have learned to become behavioral trainers as well. So that's very cool. I, it is. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. And then we're going to be. It's called New Beginnings, where an inmate yeah. will pair up with one of the dogs and teach them what they need to know. Yeah, I saw the guys, I've seen the guys around there in the yeah. orange suits for quite a while. Yeah. But yeah, during COVID we didn't have them, but they're back now and they're okay. such a godsend, you know. They are really good people. Yeah, they take, I noticed that they take the kid, take the dogs out mm -hmm. into the play yard. Mm -hmm. uh, usually whenever, I, whenever I'm there. Mm -hmm. Hello? That's cool. All right, I'm gonna give you a little bit more treats if if she says that's okay and.